There's a popular group who once got clumsy in a recording studio, destroyed the control board, and got slapped with a bill for $20,000. They didn't have a dime. But that accident inspired the hit song, whose sales paid off their debt. And then some. That hit is coming up as an AT40 Extra. Casey's Coast to Coast. American We're coming to you from Hollywood. Now, an AT40 Extra. A hit song from 13 years ago that got an unknown group out of a $20,000 debt. In 1970, English rock star Eric Burden got together with this unknown American band to record an album. They went into a Los Angeles studio to lay down some tracks. When it came time for a break, they gathered in the control room to hear the playback and to snack on some chips, beer, and wine. Keyboard player Lonnie Jordan set an open bottle of wine on the engineer's console and reached for the chips. Well, he knocked the bottle over, and the wine poured down into the complex electronic circuits. Took the engineers a day to take the board apart and dry it out and find out that it was a total loss. And band member Lonnie Jordan was responsible. Studio hit him with a bill for $20,000. At the time, Lonnie could barely raise $20. He had no idea how he was going to pay that bill. Now, at the time, Lonnie was writing a song about a guy having a weird dream, a song he hadn't found a title for. And now, all he could think about was the wine incident. So, he called the song, Spill the Wine. And that song became the big hit off the album that Eric Burden recorded with that band. That band called war and the royalties it earned were more than enough to pay for that ruined control board as an at40 extra here's the song that pulled lonnie jordan from under that twenty thousand dollar debt from 1970 spill the wine From 1970, that's Eric Burden and War with Spill the Wine, an American Top 40 Extra, as the countdown rolls on. The hits from coast to coast, it's from coast to coast. 